This episode's FDR shoutout goes to My Soul is Empty. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Cory Gang Fish Fam, how are you guys doing? My name is Chris, you're watching Fish for Thought. And welcome back to another episode of Fish Tank Review. You're thinking of a small creature. Yeah, I got it. One that could fit right in yeah. the palm of my hand. Yeah. Fish tank review. All right, let's go. It feels great to know that we are at 60k and growing. When we get to 70k, there will be another giveaway on Instagram, so make sure you follow up. This fish tank has more fish than it does water. Whenever that ratio is a thing, it is probably not the best. <laughs> way to keep your fish. How did the fish even get in there? I don't even see an opening. Did they seal it shut? Is there even a pocket for air? This aquarium definitely needs some fast lightning speed photography because it's only going to last a few seconds before all the fish dies and it doesn't look like this anymore. So I guess kudos to the photographer. Definitely has some skills there. Understocked. Those poor fish are gonna get so lonely. Yeah, in fish heaven or hell depends on if they were good fish. I think adding 10 more would suffice. Yeah, 10, 20 maybe. No, 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 there will be loads of waste. Add a common pleco, that should sort it. And then just, what the F? <laughs> Two kinds of people in this world. <laughs> Actually, I lied, there's three kinds of people. The third kind is the one that smashes that like button. Thank you. Craigslist is a gold mine. 210 gallon aquarium fish tank with 300 goldfish, $1,500. I mean, it's a sight to behold, but let me just tell you, you don't want that on your hand. That's a lot of small little graves in your backyard. Either that or it'll clog up your toilet. Depends on what kind of pet owner you are. Add brownie cakes, aquascapes, sent in this tank. I'm a sucker for rockscape and then putting or embedding live plants throughout that rockscape because it looks so natural. I also can't really see the borders of your tank so I can't really see your tank as a whole. It kind of feels like you took the picture of the best part of your tank instead of showing the whole tank so I'm not sure what it looks like. I mean the rest of your tank might also look amazing too but I just don't have any proof of that. Judging by this alone I'm going to rate it a 4.5 out of 5 but I, I technically can't can't rate this because I can't see the whole tank. This tank is sent in by Eladio. You got a pretty textbook setup here. You got floaters up top giving off those nice long roots. You got some dwarf sag in the bottom. Growing pretty not too dwarf like because it's, it's filling up a little bit there. You got a chola wood with some moss attachments. Hopefully that does what you want it to do like grow out maybe carpet a bit more if that's what you're into. I see you're trying to hide the filter in the back, that's good. Keep trying to do that. Eventually the plants will fill up the back and you won't see that filter anymore. Now, yes, what are we missing guys? Hardscape. Now you say it. Good. Half the comments are gonna be like, yo, but I really did say hardscape when Chris said say hardscape. And the other half is gonna be like, what is this Dora the Explorer Chinese guy version? 4.25 out of 5, keep it up. I have no words. Yeah, I've been seeing this around. It's like, uh, I even checked out the channel actually, but I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. I think there's a hamster in there and their whole like goal is for the hamster to live underwater in a fish tank. I don't know why, but people have crazy ideas all the time. I, to, to me, this is, I think this is either animal abuse or borderline animal abuse. Don't want to call out definitely because even though I did work at pet stores, hamsters, small mammals are not my not my specialty. I don't know a whole world of them. I kept getting bitten as well, so I'm no good with small mammals, even though I, I would love to be. But some of you might be like, Chris, it doesn't take an expert to know that hamsters don't live underwater, you idiot. I'm like, okay, well, that, yeah, I, I have no words then. <laughs> this tank sent in by George or Jorge Ballesteros. Sorry, I'm not sure which one. Amazing scape. Look at that thick carpet. It's it's thicker than the substrate itself. When that's a thing, you know you got something going on. And the hardscape is good. Um, the tank is clean. There might be some breeding action going on. That might be a breeder box in the left corner. But it's just a little awkward or odd to me. I don't know if you guys agree or not. Um, even though it is oco stone, even though there is a piece of wood in there, it just kind of looks... I mean, kind of know what you're going for, like you're trying to fill up vertically a little bit um, because it's feeling empty, but stacking those rocks on top of each other kind of seems odd. That 
wood is, I think it's a little too straight up, just vertical. This could easily be a very stunning Iwagumi scape. If you take out the piece of wood um, and not stack the Oko stone and then, and then take maybe two or three big pieces of Oko stone, do that uh, golden portion, one out of three ratio sort of thing, you know what I'm talking about, and then scape some more little Oko stones. I think that would make a really big difference in the scape. For now, 4.2 out of 5. Keep it up. I love the aesthetic of green aquariums. Boy, it sure is green. I mean, I agree to have a green water aquarium for rearing goldfish, maybe even adult goldfish if that's your thing. Because uh, it's healthy, it's healthy for goldfish, but I kind of don't think this is a goldfish tank because there's live plants in it and goldfish love to eat and wreck live plants. So chances are it's not it's not a goldfish tank. So I mean, it could still be healthy for other species, but is it is it really worth it? How much did it cost? This tank sent in by Mark Mar William. Whew, that is, that is something else. That's a stunner right there. Rimless long tank, got some hardscape on the corner, and then just riddled with cryptocorin all the way through. Maybe some dwarf sage, maybe some, it's not hair grass. A big bunch of, I don't know what's in the other corner, wisteria maybe? Waiting for that full back wall to be filled. That would look stunning. Maybe add some woodscape to that corner rockscape uh, with beautiful lines leading through the uh, long tank. That's always a great effect. 4.75 out of 5 for now, keep it up. This tank sent in by Min Fam. A cute little scape, a nice mix of Amazon Sword, I think, and Cryptocorin. They could actually all be Cryptocorin. There might be a little Java Fern in the back. Something is carpeting in the front. Might be Pearl Weed. Okay, okay, you got a, you got a nice little tank that's about to flourish. Looks like Nutritious Substrate. There are a few specks of pink substrate, so I'm, I, I'm not sure what that's all about. And the back does not look too clean at all. It looks like someone graffitied your fish tank. But if that's the look you're trying to go for, by all means, no problem with me. Seems like you're keeping a healthy tank is understocked. In fact, I don't even see any stocking at all. Take it to the next level though. You gotta keep things a little bit more tidy. Um, look for a vision you wanna go for when you're aquascaping. What is the centerpiece focal point? Usually it should be a uh, nice looking stone, nice looking wood piece with a lot of leading lines and attitude. 3.85 out of five, keep it up. Excuse me? I mean, it looks small up front, and then you turn it at an angle, you look at it at a different angle, and it's so thin. So it's even smaller than you thought it would be. This is like people on dating sites lying about their height, and they show up. OMG. Betas like to burrow in Orbeez like a fishy ball pit. No, they don't. I read the comments below, and apparently Orbeez is non-toxic, and this person has been keeping the beta with the Orbeez for a while, and you know what else can you expect? Uh, the substrate is neon pink slash purple and the plant is full on purple. In a tank like this, you almost expect there has to be Orbeez. If there wasn't, I'd feel, I'd feel weird. Paul Hawkins sent in this little stunner. The moss has just filled up really beautifully. One beta in this tank, one beta in this tank. Hey, if you have footage of that beta, like, cuddling in with that soft moss, please send it to me or, you know, link me or share it with people. People need to see that. It's like a depression cure. Lovely tank, substrate is fertilized, confirmed. You got some glow lights in there maybe? Maybe one glow light? Hopefully it's not very nippy on the beta. 4.3 out of 5, keep it up. Reed Lockmiller sent in this tank. They are a new hobbyist. So this is probably one of their first tanks, maybe their first tank ever. Definitely did their research, it looks like. You got some carpeting action going on. That's very rare for a beginner. Got some interesting plants in there. I'm not even sure about what species some of them are. You got the woodscape, you got the hardscape. That's great. You got a backdrop that is clean. This is a fluval flex, so you're flexing right from the beginning. You got a Yoda statue. What else can you ask for from a first time fish keeper? My first fish was Let's not get into it. Very cool, but I'm not going to be biased by the, the new hobbyist or if you're 13 or whatever. You, we won't believe the amount of emails I get from 13 year olds saying, hey, I'm 13, review my tank. I'm 13, so you know, this is a really good job for a 13 year old. Son, have you seen those piano prodigies? They're like nine years old, bro. That includes me as well. That's like why I quit piano. I see a nine-year-old playing for is way better than I. Honestly, they wouldn't even be playing for Elise. For Elise is like a level four piece. They'd be playing like Winter's Wind by, um, by, what's his name? It's not Bach. Oh gosh. Winter's Wind by, 
I only know this because of the anime you're lying in April. Tell me who's it by. I'm not gonna Google it. Just comment in the section. Comment in the comment section. Anyway, this back in back on topic. This why do I uh this tank rating it a four out of five. Keep it up. Found that on Instagram. What is that? It looks like a strip of light. They took the ball out, but somehow it's it still has light. And then they put fish and water in it. But if this is real, if there's real fish in there, this is horrible because it's being lit up the whole way through. Imagine being disoriented in this like bright room. It just doesn't feel good. Update my dad's two. 20 gallon aquarium has been cleaned. This is a feel good story. Look at that up top. That is gross. Look at it on the bottom. That is clean. And it also looks like salt water. So definitely took a took an effort there. Might even be using live rock. I love it. I support it. Good job to your dad. Also, if, if you helped clean the tank, good job to you as well. If you just stuck around and just looked at your dad clean the tank and not help him, what are you doing, man? Help him out. Help a brother out. My older sister's depressing goldfish tank. Oh, that goldfish don't look good. It don't feel very good, Mr. Stark. I don't know if that filter is even still working. The word depressing is used here, and I think it fits this perfectly. Please do not attack her. Nonetheless, you shouldn't let a kid have free reign on their fish tank. Are you perhaps the kid that wrote this? Rain? Bro, I know you have better grammar and spelling than that. I know you don't think the word rain for like precipitation is what you wanted to use here. Please tell me that you know that. Hey man, don't worry about the tank, it's gonna settle, okay? That's like sand, maybe they poured in sand after they put some water in there. No, it's not the best for the fish, but that's gonna settle. She's gonna learn her lesson. You need to go back to school and learn some grammar. <laughs> he later started blowing into the filter to give the fish oxygen. Oh gosh, Monster Mike. Oh, is that what he looks like? I, I totally thought he was gonna be like this obnoxious white guy. I wonder why I thought that, I'm sorry. I'm not a racist. But here, let's forget about the basic grammar. Let's focus on basic biology for a sec. And you definitely learn this by the time you're grade three in elementary school. Humans, we take in what? Oxygen, okay. And then we expel what? CO2. Monster Mike, my dude. You're blowing CO2 in there. <laughs> fish don't breathe CO2. In fact, CO2 kills fish. I mean, sure, you're moving some air into it. You got some O2 mixed in with the CO2, but still, man. Hope you brought a breath mint. Saw on the show Flea Market Flip. Guys turned an old lamp into a fish tank. Someone bought it for $250. $250 for an old lamp with a goldfish in it that's gonna die? This sounds like the lore of League of Legends. It's where Jax found his first weapon. Get a real weapon, Jax. Three goldfish, one common pleco, all in a three gallon tank. Oh, it's just great. Look at that. SpongeBob house. Even got a Nemo with the anemone in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Five out of five fish abuse. Let's go. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet.